Well, the play is set in uh, 1908. It's one of these classic plays, and J.B. Priestley actually is better known probably for an inspector calls. Everybody sort of uh, loves to go along and see a murder mystery, a thriller. But in this case, uh, it's a comedy that actually rings true even today. It's full of surprises, and the characters certainly get a big surprise in this. Well, the play is basically uh, three couples were married 25 years previously, and they're coming to celebrate uh, the wedding. They're all married on the same day, and they come, they come together to celebrate uh, their 25th wedding anniversary. But then uh, they discover that, in fact, they weren't uh, married correctly. Well, if we've never been married then... Oh, keep your mind off detail, because it gets very ugly. Very ugly. For instance, there's that lad of yours at grammar school. I wouldn't like to give him a name now. It's steady, Joe. Whoa! You get very ugly, you see. Just keep your mind off the details. Silver wedding? Oh, you style. Alderman Joe Halliwell is, uh, is a very arrogant and very self-satisfied man who, who had quite humble beginnings but uh, has done pretty well for himself. I mean, he's and his wife are the host of this celebration uh, and um, they, they pretty much run the show. They well now let it be Joe. Hey, do you know what we ought to do for this? We ought to sit in the same place as we were in that old photo. Now where is it? Um, I was in there, you were this side, you were there, Annie. Well, I'm playing Annie Parker. It's Parker, yeah. isn't it? Yes, it is. <laughs> and I'm Albert Parker. Um, Albert very much dominates his wife. She is almost the epitome of the traditional wife who has a great respect for the uh, institution of marriage. She believes she's married him, she must take him for better or worse and has to put up with it. But she never lets it, or very rarely lets it show that she's not happy to go along with his ways. Yeah, and then, then she gets this little glimpse of the possibility yes. of escaping from it, and she thinks, well, well maybe I should. The cogs start wearing. Yeah, yeah. I told you to leave that salmon alone. Yay, Clara. Why can't he have a bit of salmon if he fancies it? Because he doesn't fancy him, Joe, anyway, that's why. Remember that time we all went to Scarborough? It was Bridlington. It was both. Well, My character's a battle axe, to be uh, straightforward about it, isn't he? She's a battle yes. axe, really. Yes. She treats him very badly. Yes. Uh, until the worm turns. Yes. And uh, he gets his own back. Yes. And actually, my theory is that she quite likes him when the worm has turned. Yes. It's a new relationship. <laughs> <laughs> Here's to ourselves. <laughs> and uh, uh, the Reverend Mr... What's his name? Uh, Beach. Uh, who tied us up? Wherever he's been. I think they're quite happy. Mm. Do you? I do. Yes. Yes. Um, I think they actually, as a couple, they get on quite well. Um, you, I often say things, and then you take over and pretend that you've decided that's what you were going to say, don't you? You get a bit cross. And, like, but they, like, most bad, marriages. like most marriages. <laughs> but I think they actually get on quite well, really. Well, I think it was, it was written in 1938 by Priestley, although it's set in 1908. And I think what he envisaged was uh, something that sort of changes people's lives. And in this case, it's the what if you discover that you aren't who you are. And I think that has a resonance today because uh, some people might think, well, you know, if only something different had happened 20, 25 years ago, where would I be now? And that's where these characters find themselves in the what if situation. It's just, it's just funny. I mean, it's, it just doesn't, doesn't demand uh, anything from you uh, except that you just go and have a good time. Uh, and, and yeah, there's some great lines and, yes. and great characters, you know, the very distinct characters. Um, you know, but, the, the, you know, there is, there's a little kind of I don't know, it sort of chips away. Yes, and exactly. There's a little Indeed, isn't message, isn't there? Yes, <laughs> in there? But yes. you, know, you don't have to go for that, you just go for the comedy and, and you know, the, it will zip by. Mm -hmm.